Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a new video. I have not done one like this before. So this video is going to be called My Favorite Finds and I'm hoping that if people like it I can use this as a series and post this like once a month or once every other month and the plan is for me to show you my favorite finds, my favorite things that I have found and purchased within the last month or two. Um, my goal right now for this is not to show things that are full price, like I'd like everything to be some sort of deal or on sale. So that's what I'm sticking with pretty much this week um, or this month for this video. This is for June of 2019. So I'm going to be showing you things I got on Poshmark, on the boards, and on other websites. Maybe it was on sale. Um, so just things I found that I think are a great deal that I'd like to share. And I'm going to be doing that in just a moment. First, I'm going to tell you about the boards if you're not familiar with so you know what I'm exactly talking about. Um, I, as you probably know if you've watched any of my other videos or if you recognize my top, um, I really love Lily Pulitzer and I buy a lot of their clothing. So I buy a lot of it off of what everybody just calls the boards. There are Facebook groups where people can buy and sell their Lily. Maybe it doesn't fit, maybe it's been worn a couple times and they just don't like it anymore. Um, so people go on there and buy and sell. I've sold a few things on there. I've bought quite a few things on there. Um, and people just refer to it as the boards. It's pretty simple. You pay through PayPal so everything is protected and it works out pretty great most of the time. So I'm going to start out with everything that I've purchased that I'm going to show you this month. So here we go. All right. The first thing I'm going to show you is this Lily Pulitzer dress. So this has three quarter sleeves and it is a um, normal length dress, I would say. This is, I believe, a Marlow is the name of the dress type. You'll see this did come from TJ Maxx, but I bought it on the board. So someone bought this at TJ Maxx for whatever reason. They didn't like it. They couldn't find their receipt, maybe. They didn't want to return it. So they just resold it on the board. So it doesn't have the original Lily tag on it, which happens sometimes at TJ Maxx. And then over the label, they just put this like gold strip that covers up where it says that it's a Lily Pulitzer dress, even though people know it's a Lily Pulitzer dress if you're familiar with it. Um, this print is uh, Sweat by the Tides, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Um, so anyways, they bought this at TJ Maxx for $39.99 and for whatever reason, I guess they just wanted to get rid of it, they sold it to me, still with the tag on it, for $25. So I was very excited, I snatched it up right away. Um, this is great because I will be able to wear this to school, to teach in, um, probably once it gets even a little bit chillier with just like some navy leggings underneath or maybe navy tights if I want to. Um, so I'm excited about this because I can wear this to work as a teacher and it was only $25. So that's one of my favorite finds. Next, I'm gonna show you some bottoms. All these are Lily Pulitzer. Um, the first ones I'm gonna show you are these shorts. So what happened is I bought these shorts off the boards in a different size about a year and a half ago and they don't fit me and they never have fit me and I'm pretty convinced they never will fit me even if I lost a decent amount of weight they're just not gonna fit with my hips so um, I finally found a, someone selling them in the same print this is called Bohemian Beach is the name of the print um, very bright very fun and someone was reselling these. These are in excellent used condition, so they have been worn before, but you really can't tell other than the tags not being on them. Um, they're very bright, nothing's wrong with them. So these were $35, which is great. So now I am trying to sell the pair I have, which are still new with tags. So I'm asking a little bit more than that for them, but I was very excited about these. Next. I was able to snag 
these beauties. These, this is the um, Callahan, I believe, shorts in pool blue first impressions. So if you're familiar with Lily, you know first impressions is a holy grail print to a lot of people. It can sell for a lot because it's so expensive. Um, I'll be showing you another thing in, in first impressions in a minute. <laughs> um, so these are in pool blue first impressions and I was able to get them on the boards. They are new with tags which is awesome. These were 64 um, at the time that I bought them, or at the time they were purchased, but now you can get these for way more because they're not available to buy anymore. But I bought them for 55, so only about $9 off the original price, but they're brand new and you can't purchase them anymore. So I was very excited to get these and excited to wear them. Since I just talked about the other first impressions, I'll pull this up. I also found the skirt. So this is the more popular, in my opinion at least, um, colorway of those were the pool blue. These are hottie pink first impressions. It's commonly called HPFI. And this skirt I got, this is just where you hook it together. It has a button and then it has the gold clasp that hooks through there. Um, so I was able to snag this skirt on the boards as well. Um, it has pockets. I wish I knew the name of this skirt for you. I don't. But this is a Lily original. It has the tag right on it. And this I snagged for $60, which I thought was a great deal. Um, you can't, it has no fading, um, nothing wrong with it at all. The person just didn't really want it or couldn't fit into it or something. So... They sold it $60. This, these, both of those last two were you know, a little expensive and so is the next one, but I'm thinking of it's a find to me because it's cheaper than a lot of the other um, items you can find in those prints. Okay, and then this one also, this is a very famous Lily print. It's called Yugata Regatta. Super fun with the sailboats. It has the scalloped detail at the bottom. So this skirt was also excellent use condition. Um, the person said they think it might have even been new without tags. I do think it has maybe a tiny bit of fading but not terrible um, at all. It's also just not quite as bright of a print as a lot of others I think. So this was, I paid 60 for this. I paid full asking price. There were like three people after me who were willing to pay it if I didn't pay quickly. So I snagged these on the boards as well. So clarifying, I'm not sure if I said it for all these. Boards, Facebook boards, Facebook boards, Facebook boards, Facebook boards, Facebook boards. All of that was bought on the Facebook boards. Okay, um, I have a few more things I'm also going to show. The last thing I bought on the Facebook boards was actually the Hottie Pink First Impressions Murphy Scarf. So, I don't know if Lily even makes Murphy scarves anymore. I have not seen one in a while. Um, so this is the scarf. It's folded up right now. But again, in that very popular print, it does not have any snags or pulls or anything like that. I do think it's a tad bit faded, but not bad whatsoever. Um, so this I paid 50 for, which is also a great deal. So. I did not have anything in first impressions before June, <laughs> before this month, and now I have quite a few things in it. But I was very excited to get this. This was 50. So that was all the things from the boards. I'm going to shift a little bit and show you a couple other items and then um, move on to where I got them from. So next I'm going to show two things from Poshmark. So both of these are also Lily things. There are a few things that aren't Lily at the end, so if you're holding out for that, it's coming, I promise. Um, so on Poshmark, I actually bought these. They came with a little case. These are the Hottie Pink First Impressions um, inspired sunglasses. So these are not from Lily. They're not the real print, and you can definitely tell when you look at them. They were only $12 from a boutique so you can see they do have the right coloring it's just not quite as bright or as clear of a print 
as the actual pattern, but I still thought they were fun. Um, for $12, they're super cute. I love pink, so I probably would have bought these if they were just pink on sale. Um, and I didn't think $12 was bad. So those were from Poshmark. And then the second thing from Poshmark that I bought, this is very exciting. Um, I was thrilled. This is probably my favorite find of the month of all the things I'm showing you. So I was able to score the Lily Pulitzer Bobbles bag in Hottie Pink First Impressions. Very excited about this. Brand new with tags. There's still plastic on the handle, plastic over the tag, plastic over the Lily zipper um, pull. So this was a gift with purchase. It even says right on it, zero dollars. And inside of this little bag, there are three um, little travel bags. There's the baubles bag for kind of like your jewelry. And then there are two of these bags that say, wash me and wear me. So they're great for packing. I was shocked when I saw these. I've seen them on the on Poshmark and on the boards before and usually not even new with tag ones. Some are new with tags, but I would say even ones that aren't new with tags are about $50 and they go up from there if they are new with tags. So these were a free gift with purchase um, when this print was popular. I don't know how much you had to spend for it, um, but usually these go for a lot. I scored this on Poshmark for $19. And I was thrilled. And I didn't even realize when I bought it that it was new with tags. So I was totally surprised when they got to my house and they were brand new with tags. I thought they just looked good and they didn't look super faded. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get them for $19. That's a great deal. And then I realized they were brand new with tags. So I am hooked on Poshmark now because I'm searching all the time. And I'm like, if I found this, that means I can find other things that are also on sale. So that was Poshmark. Okay. The rest of the stuff I'm going to show you is not Lily, but it is mostly Friends themed. So if you like the TV show Friends, I am obsessed with it. My graduation cap from college was Friends themed. Um, love the show. I've watched it so many times. It's probably not good, <laughs> um, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you a couple things I got that are Friends themed. Um, and one thing that's really not, but it kind of goes with it. So these next two items I bought from Shein. So the website Shein, if you're not familiar with it, it's S-H-E-I-N.com. Um, the stuff is really cheap and it comes from China and it's just really cheap. It's usually not super great quality stuff um, because of how cheap it is and the way it's produced, but you can get some cute stuff on there. I do have a couple items I bought from there last summer. So they've lasted with a year of wear and wash. So some stuff does actually last and, and wear pretty well. So here's the first thing I got from Shein. I'll be there for you. So it is the Friends theme song. It has the dots just like the Friends show um, does. And this t-shirt was $10 on Shein. It is super stretchy. Um, this is my usual medium and it's very comfortable, very soft, very stretchy. You do have to be careful. Not everything you get from Shein is soft, but this is. The sleeves are definitely long. They're like elbow length sleeves, but for $10, I thought it was super cute. So I did buy that. And then also from Shein, to kind of go with that, I bought these sunglasses. So these heart-shaped sunglasses are super popular right now. Um, you see them all the time on people on Instagram and bloggers. Um, they're super cute. I love the shape. These were four bucks on Shein. So I was like, that's a great deal. I don't wear red like a ton, but I thought it would go perfect if I'm rocking my friend's shirt. Um, super cute and what I was really impressed by is for four dollars they came in their own little Shein case and it is like a hard case 
And when you unzipped it, there were like two bags that it was in and it even came with this cleaning cloth. So I was really impressed. So they were not damaged at all, which I was a little bit worried about um, them coming here from China and being damaged, but they were not. And they even have this nice little case. So those were only four bucks from Shein. All right, and lastly, these are also friends themed items, but these are not from Shein. I got these from the Turvis website. So I'm sure you probably know Turvis, you're familiar with Turvis. They do like the travel mugs and travel cups. And if you're anything like me, you can't have enough of those for some reason. And you just keep buying them even though you have plenty already. So. Um, they just came out with these friends themed ones. So I bought this one. It says Central Perk on it. And then on the back, I thought this was adorable at the bottom. There's the orange couch from Central Perk. So I got that. It has a red lid. And then I also bought this one, which has like writing all over it. The middle part has the friends, the television show with the dots. And then it has like doodles and sayings from the whole show so i see like smelly cat pivot how you doing the couch the lobster um the picture frame uh a nyc taxi the umbrellas and the fountain from the show so both of these i went ahead and got the bigger ones because i drink a lot of water when i drink water so i got the 24 ounces these are $21.99 for this size, but the reason I have them on here is because they were having a sale the day I purchased these, and it was 20% off your purchase, and I got free shipping. So I did not pay full price for them. They weren't a huge amount off, but I got a decent amount off. Um, I ended up paying like 36, I wanna say. So not bad at all, and I was able to get both of these. So those are my favorite things finds from June of 2019. I did buy other things, but these are the things that are my favorite. So I'm not showing you like everything I purchased that month. It's the things that I really think are my favorite, either because I just really love them or I thought the deal was super great. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like if you are enjoying it or comment below what are your finds from June. I'd love to hear what you were able to find. Um, on any of these websites or on others. And if people seem to like it, then I will continue this as a series. So thanks for watching.